Uh, speaking of school, as we wrap up our back to school week, one thing that always comes around this time of year is the Cranston Greek Festival. That's right. The Church of the Annunciation in Cranston celebrating its 35th annual event, and that's going to happen this weekend. And as always, there's sure to be an abundance of authentic Greek food, pastry, and plenty of family fun. Brendan is there live at the church for a preview of the weekend about to kick off tonight. Hey, Brendan. Hey, good morning, guys. Now, you saw me earlier today in our pre-show meeting. I was not in good condition. You can all attest to the fact that it was early Friday morning. I hadn't had coffee, but now I am on cloud nine because we are here at one of our favorite live events, of course. It kicks off later today, as you said, the 35th annual three-day Cranston Greek Festival, and we're going to be here all morning at the Church of the Annunciation in Cranston with a preview that you don't want to miss. And joining me right now, we have Father Nicholas, whom we will get to in a moment, but Father Andrew George. It is so wonderful to be back. How excited are you? Have you ever had Greek coffee? I just heard you talk about coffee. Get me a big cup. Oh, it's strong. It's strong, super strong. Uh, we welcome everybody. Good morning. We are back, as many things are back throughout the, the state and our nation. Last year, of course, because of COVID, now there's less concern. So we're having the three-day Greek festival celebrating the Nativity of the Virgin Mary, and we hope you'll be able to come. And does it seem possible 35 years now? 35 years being three-day. Previously, this was a two-day event, a one-day event, and before that it was a small parish picnic just for parishioners. And then slowly through the years, parishioners would invite friends and neighbors, and it grew to what it is now. It is beyond. It is beyond spectacular. And Father Nicholas, just how ready are you for this great celebration? It's going to be tremendous, isn't it? It's really wonderful to be back and up in action. And the word for, for hospitality in Greek is philoxenia. So when you come here, you share in our dance and our Greek pastries and our Greek food and our music. You are family. When you come here and are part of this magnificent event and you share in everything that we are, Everybody is like family, so yes, we're looking forward, very much forward to having everybody back here again. And one of the things yeah. I love is that wonderful communal atmosphere. All are welcome. Everyone can come here, experience the culture, experience the faith, learn something, and really immerse themselves in all things Greek, right? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. When you're here, you're Greek. <laughs> I love the sound of that. And Father Andrew, I know it kicks off later today at 5 p.m., but let's talk logistically. I mean, there are shuttles running. I saw the sign right over there every 15 minutes, so there are easy ways for people to get in and out, correct? Correct. Of course, people park on Oak Lawn Avenue here a lot and some of the side streets, but please don't block... Uh, the driveways of individual private homes, but the real place to go is Cranston West High School where there's a shuttle bus. Use Curtis Street, Curtis Street, to get to the uh, section there of the parking lot because the large parking lot at Cranston West is, as you may know. And we hope then you come up the main driveway, you would, the bus leaves you off right here, and then there's the food line, and you'll hear later in the program, there are two food lines this year and two ways of getting food while you're here. That's right, and we've been learning about it all week on the road show. So the more ways to get food, the better, as far as I'm concerned. But of course, three days running through Sunday, correct? Yes, running through Sunday. So starting tonight at 5 to 10, on Saturday, 12 noon to 10 p.m., and on Sunday, 12 noon to 8 p.m. Outstanding. Well, Father Andrew, great pleasure to see you as always. It's been far too long. And Father Nicholas, great meeting you. Thanks for being with us. So glad to be here. Come to the Cranston Greek Festival tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. God bless. I'm going to get in the food line right now. Well, this is where it's all happening, you guys. The Church of the Annunciation right here, the 35th annual three-day version of the Cranston Greek Festival. We're going to be here all morning. You're going to see the food. We're going to get a dance performance. Hey, maybe I'll even jump in and dance. Nobody wants to see that, but you don't want to miss it. Back to you. Happening here, it's all Greek to us. Yes, it is, and we are celebrating the weekend at the Cranston Greek Festival. Now, this family-friendly event is kicking off its 35th annual event. That's going to happen tonight at the Church of the Annunciation on Oaklawn Ave, where the flavors of the culture are sure to be enjoyed. Brendan is there live right now, digging into some of the delicious <laughs> dishes being served up. Bren, lucky assignment. <laughs> 
Hey guys, you know we love coming here. Uh, the Cranston Greek Festival is just spectacular, and it just gets bigger and better year after year. And I am in one of my favorite locations. Yes, I'm positioned right by the food. That's where I belong. And we are going to learn more all about what it is that they will have here this weekend. You don't want to miss it, but we do want to learn a little bit about the history here. And Tina, I know you here, the team, you're really carrying on a wonderful tradition on, in honor of someone very special, we aren't are, you? Yes, exactly. We are. We always used to see Harry Bablanis here with his nice white coat, chef coat. He's been our head chef in the kitchen for many, many years. And during his time, he's been able to train us, and we've been able to carry on those recipes every single year we have our festival. And I know he would be just so endlessly proud of the work that you are continuing to carry on. And I know you can't welcome, wait to welcome everyone, you know, in his memory and just and beyond. So let's talk about really how it's going to work. I know there's kind of a dual ordering system. There's yes. no excuse for people not to get their food, right? No, none at all. So um, when visitors come to the festival, uh, we've got plenty of signage around to help you navigate this. Uh, you can scan a QR code, which will just will come right up onto your uh, mobile phone and pop your the menu will pop right up and you can order directly from there and then you'll enter the line give your name to the cashier and then we'll pack it all up for you really hot and fresh ready to go the second way is just to come right up to a cashier and put your menu in with them and the same thing will happen afterwards you'll just wait for your order to be packed up and you'll be on your way do you frown upon cutting the line because that's my move if it's you, it's okay. <laughs> oh, you heard it here, right, right on TV. But Tina, talk to us about some of the varieties you have right here. Of course, um, we can start down here with our, this is our roast lamb. It's one of the one of our staples here in the festival. Uh, it's oven baked with some garlic, some herbs, and we've got it served here with um, some roasted potatoes as well. Or you have an option to have it with some rice. And all our dinners will come with a Greek salad and roll. We also have our roasted chicken here, oven roasted as well, with some uh, potatoes. We have our chicken. Suvlaki and our pork souvlaki, uh, delicious Mediterranean flavors there as well. Outstanding. I want to make sure we get to some of the desserts though, so, but it all looks spectacular. And Cassiane, nice to see you as well. Nice to see you. Talk to me about some of these desserts. So this is our homemade galata burrico that's made every morning. We have baklava, kataifi, we have our garidopita, which is our honey, Greek honey cake, and our melamokarana, and our curambiades. Outstanding. And Nancy, last but not least, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Always a pleasure. Talk to me about what you have yes. here. Risogolo is a Greek rice pudding, often served with cinnamon. We have kuluria, which is a butter cookie. No, I struggled with that yesterday. Roadshow viewers will know I'm going to try again. Kuluria. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And we have assortments, which are a sampler of a variety of our pastries. And a special feature in the corner here is a baklava sundae. Beautiful piece of baklava with ice cream, whipped cream, a little chocolate drizzle if you like it. And just how excited are you to be back? I'm uh, terribly excited <laughs> to be here welcoming everyone to taste our food again. We love to be here. It's the Cranston Greek Festival happening this weekend, kicking off later today at 5 p.m. We're going to have a live performance coming up next that you don't want to miss. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank it's you. always a pleasure to see you. Back to you. All morning long, we've been getting a preview of the Grecian fun to come this weekend with the return of the Cranston Greek Festival. Let's check in one last time with Brendan, who's getting a preview of some of the dancing. I'm ready to see your moves, BK. Well, you stay right where you are then, Ashley, because you're about to see a dance of Palooza. No, that's not what it is at all. I'm going to turn it over to the experts right now. And we have come to know, and to get to know, really, Stephen Rugus, who is the, what, what is your actual title, my friend? Uh, director of the Odyssey Dance Troupe. Oh, very good. And talk to us about what you'll be doing this weekend. It's going to be three days of just so much fun kicking off later today at 5 p.m. We can't wait. We've waited a whole two years, and so we're excited to be back. And so our job really is to help entertain the crowd. We perform dances from all over Greece, and this is an all volunteer volunteer group and we come together to really keep this tradition going and share it with the community. That's what it's all about and we were talking to Father Andrew earlier about really how this is a fully immersive experience. If you're not Greek, you can learn all about the culture, have some fun and really just enjoy yourself, right? That's exactly right. It's the joy of coming to these festivals, come to learn a little bit about a culture and just enjoy it. Be Greek for a day or a whole weekend. Well, I was told that I'm now an honorary because I've been here so many years. You are indeed. We got an outfit for you ready and a place and a spot for you in the line. This is my 45th consecutive year. Don't we look good? I think so, but I'm biased. <laughs> of course. Course. And you guys naturally kicking off, like I said, I don't, you don't want to forget, 5 o'clock later today, we're going to have all the details at Roadshow.com. So much food, so much fun, live performances, just a great community feel that you don't want to miss. Now, Stephen, in the past, when I've been here during one of my non-Emmy Award winning segments, you've showed me a few dance steps, and that tradition is going to continue right here today, isn't it? Absolutely. This is all about continuing traditions this year. 
in other words, watching me fail miserably live on the air. So what are you going to show me right, here? Come right on over here. We're going to get you right in line next to uh, okay. Alexis here. Hi, Alexis. How you been? Hey, I'm good. How are you good doing? Good to see you it's again. I know. So what? I'm going to switch this. It's very, actually, do most of the dancers hold a microphone? No, they don't at all. So what do I have to do here? Okay. You're going to watch our feet here, and all we're right, going to start with our right here, foot. You can hold my hand. Make it a okay, little hang easier. on. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> and we're going to start with our right Don't foot. Need that. And we're going to step right and then back and then right. And then you're going to swish your left foot. Okay. And then you're going to swish your right foot. There you go. Again, and we'll try that again. It, it's foot. like my body's digesting a ham when I try to dance. <laughs> you okay. Got it. Right foot and then behind and then right. right. And then you're going to swish it and then you're and gonna then push it again. Push it again. There you Not go. bad, Alexis. You're getting better. Stephen, am I an honorary official member now? Absolutely. It's time to suit up. <laughs> okay, enough of my horrible lesson. The guy, these guys right here are the professionals. They know what to do. You're going to take it away, and this is just a little preview of what you people can see this weekend, right, Stephen? That's right. Come 7 tonight or 4 and 7 Saturday and Sunday to see all the rest. Sounds like a plan. All right, my friends up here are going to hit the music. Take it away, kids. How fantastic is this? It's the 35th annual three-day Cranston Greek Festival. You don't want to miss it.